This is Gadget Stop 321. In today's video, I'm taking a look at the Duo Pen Sleeve by Rickshaw Bag Works. Now, I came across this pen sleeve watching a video by Mike Madison of Ink Dependence. He uh, put up a video not long ago uh, showing off some of the items he had gotten from Rickshaw, and one of them was one of these pen sleeves. And when I saw the two pin pen sleeve, I knew that's what I was looking for. My everyday carry includes two pens. I have one with a nice subdued ink, a, a blue or a gray or a black for everyday writing. And I have another pen with a more vibrant ink for grading. And I got the medium pen sleeve. I believe this material that I picked out is called the Tuxedo Tweed and you get to pick what color trim you want. I just got black. You can pick, you get to pick what color tag you want. These are highly customizable. They have tons of options of materials and colors that you can choose from. The interior is really nice. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting's not the best, but the interior of mine is a gray, kind of a synthetic fur. It is super soft. I'm really confident that it'll keep my pins uh, safe. Now, what I've what I thought I would do is go through uh, the main pins that I cycle through in my everyday carry and see how they fit in the pin sleeve. In fact, when I opened this up, I was kind of surprised at how small it was. I don't have very big hands. This is the medium. You can get a larger pin sleeve, which I think is a little bit longer. And I'm not sure it might be each little section might be a little bit wider. I'm not sure, but this is the medium. And I'm going to take a look at how my pins fit in it. Now, the pins I'm carrying uh, this week are two Caveco pocket pins. Now, a Skyline Sport, a plastic Skyline Sport, you're not typically going to need to carry it in a pen sleeve, but um, instead of just throwing it around in my purse, I, the purse I'm carrying right now doesn't really have a pocket that I can put my pens in, so the pen sleeve works out nicely. So the Lilliput goes in one side, the Skyline Sport fits in the other side, there's plenty of room here at the end, and to take them out, the Lilliput's really easy, it's got a rounded end, just kind of squirt it out. Now the Skyline Sport has a flat end. There's, it's a little bit more difficult to get it out, but not bad. Um, I'm starting to become more of a fan of rounded end pins now between putting pins in pin loops and putting them in the pin sleeve and getting them back out. Rounded end pins are much easier to deal with. I've always been a fan of um, flat end pins, like on this Pilot Prera, but I'm starting to appreciate rounded end pins more now. Now this is my uh, Conklin Mini Graph. It's got a nice smooth shiny finish. Uh, even though it's a pocket pen, um, it's a nice pen to keep in a pen sleeve. And a little Monteverde Paquito. Now the Paquito fits in there kind of loosely. Let me see. Yeah, you got to be careful. It's a tiny little pocket pin. You turn it upside down and shake it, it could fall out of there. But it looks like the mini graph is in there fairly snugly. Yeah, it's not going to come out. But it's a rounded end pin, so just kind of push on the bottom and it squirts out. Now, when this came in, I kind of thought, you know, these are fairly narrow sections. Will some of my fatter pins, this Pilot Petite 1, again, not really a pin you would have to keep in a pin sleeve. It's kind of a snug fit, but it fits nicely. This is a just the little Jet Pins. Let me see. It's called a Chibi. The Jet Pins pin branded chibi. Just a little three dollar pin, but if you don't want it thrown around in your bag, that's nice. They fit in there snugly and just push from the bottom and they squirt right out. I'm, 
I'm liking this pin sleeve so far. Okay, here's a jet pins, just a jet pins little metal pin. Fits in there pretty snugly. This is the um Ototashi. Now it fits a little looser, but I'm shaking it and it's not coming out, so that fits well. And on all of these, these have been little pocket pins so far. Let me see. This one has a little less than an inch to spare at the bottom. Okay, next I've got the Pilot Pereira. And this was a pin I was kind of concerned about. It's a, one of my fatter pins, the um, Twisby Diamond Mini. Nice fit. Oh, and it's just the Now, this is the Diamond Mini, and it fits about perfect. Look at that. That's how much room is left on each end. Let's see. Just push it out of there. Now, I should mention how much the pin sleeve costs. Um, pin sleeves can run kind of ex can be kind of expensive. Lots of them are uh, leather. Let me see. Let me mention what this is. This is a uh, Lamy CP1. A, it's a skinny one of my longer pins and a Lamy logo. They fit perfect. Okay fit perfect. No room left over. Just a perfect fit. Let's see. I was talking about the price. The On Rickshaw's website, these are $20. Shipping was around $3. Total cost was less than $24. And I have been very happy with it. It was money well spent. Let me see. This is my Lamy Studio with the palladium finish. Now these are my two pins. These are my two gold nib pins that I don't take out of the house very much. When I do, I typically take the Lamy Studio. The Studio has a more robust, it, just, it feels like a sturdier pin. It's a metal pin. I've always been kind of leery of taking my uh, Pilot E95S out of the house. It's such a light pin. Uh, it just feels very dainty. But now that I have this pin sleeve, fits in there nicely. Perfect. So now you know some of the types of pins that will fit in the Rickshaw Bagworks Duo Pin Sleeve. Um, you can pick one of these up for $20. They also come in a single. You can get a single pin sleeve. Uh, but since I tend to carry two pins, I picked up the duo. Now, if you found this video helpful, uh, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel.